previous video writing advice to me in 1971 which I uploaded October 24th I talked about uh, the five writers who most influenced me uh, back then Arthur Conan Doyle Dean Acheson Isaac Asimov uh, Kurt Vonnegut and John D. McDonald. Yeah. Uh, I have three children, six grandchildren, and two great grandchildren. And uh, my youngest daughter, I had provided her this, actually a longer list, but those were five were included. Uh, and she uh, somewhat pugnaciously asked me, where are the women? She wanted women writers on my list. Well, I had women writers on my list and I, uh, I shared that with her and now I'm sharing it with you. Um, Irene Hunt who wrote Across Five Aprils, which I read in 1965. Jean Craighead George, who wrote Hold Zero, which I read in 1967. Phyllis Bentley, she wrote Inheritance and the Miss Phipps Mysteries. I will go into each of these in more detail. Just giving you the list. Harper Lee wrote To Kill a Mockingbird and was instrumental in writing In Cold Blood. And Jean Wyrick, who, as far as I know, only wrote textbooks. Now, in, you know, English composition. Title of Steps to Writing Well, but it's just an English composition book. A type used in college. Now, we all are exposed to those if you go to college. And uh, the 1979 first edition resonated with me. I can't find my copy of that. Maybe gone. But I have this. Steps to writing well. Fourth edition. Jane Wyatt Ryrick. So, um, go over them a, a little more. And, uh, Irene Hunt. This is her Wikipedia entry. She earned a master's degree in English and taught English. Uh, after she retired at age 65, she wrote Cross Five Aprils. And uh, that made such an impression on me. To this day, I can tell you where I started reading it and who was sitting next to me. I was in school, elementary school, McCormick Elementary School. And next to me was a student who moved his lips and kind of whispered when he read aloud. We were reading it supposed to be silently reading it uh, in class and that was the first time I really realized some people couldn't read without sounding out the words. Now this is not, I'm not complaining, that's the way some people learn to read. So um, it's about the uh, Civil War. She wrote it because she was influenced by her grandfather who told her stories. Uh, of the Civil War. He was old and, and she remembered those stories and, and wrote about them. There's a lot of nonfiction in this about the Civil War, which started and ended across five Aprils. Uh, the next book was Hold Zero, Jean Craighead George. Uh, this was a book that uh, uh, 
Yeah. Well, Jean Craighead George also earned a degree in English. She did not teach. She became a writer and editor for the Reader's Digest. She wrote a lot of books. Um, this was in, uh, I read this in 67. But uh, one of her earlier books was my grandson Kyle's favorite, uh, My Side of the Mountain, which she wrote with her husband. Um, this was about some boys building and launching a rocket. And all my buddies read this, and we were going to become rocket boys, but... Uh, None of us did. One of us did become a um, computer programmer for flight safety. So he programmed flight simulators. I guess that's the closest. Well, I was on the Wichita Airport Advisory Board for a term. We built a new uh, airport terminal. Um, now, later, that was when I was still in elementary school. I read those two. Later, I read uh, Philip Bentley's books, uh, Inheritance and her Miss Phipps Mysteries. Uh, both excellent, although um, Inheritance is uh, of a style that is not popular right now. And, uh, but she was, uh, at least one source said that uh, Bentley was Queen Elizabeth II's favorite writer. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird, Harper Lee, going to come back to that. And uh, Gene Wyrick again. Um, I'm just, I'm not saying that you should read all these. Uh, I am saying this was the English composition textbook that resonated with me. It won't just won't reach everybody. But uh, for me, I uh, I don't know if you say you enjoy reading any textbook, but I did think about this and I did work at it. Thought this was a, a well done textbook. And I still refer to it from time to time. So, um, To Kill a Mockingbird. Harper Lee. Harper Lee uh, attended college, did not graduate. Um, she uh, studied law. And... Um, She wrote this, uh, these two books, really. She was really instrumental in, in Cold Blood, as well as writing on her own To Kill a Mockingbird. So, um, when I uh, was doing one of my final book signings for uh, Nightmare in Wichita, I'm for the big T.K. Strangler, at uh, Nancy Robinson's uh, store, which sold books and notions, knickknacks, good stuff. She's she's just retired now. Uh, one of the women, uh, she waited to be in line so she could uh, talk with me, and she asked me to sign her copy of Nightmare Wichita. And then she showed me her copy of In Cold Blood, which had been signed by Truman Capote. Although she had talked with Nell Harper Lee. And uh, she told me she'd driven in to Wichita from Dodge City, which is quite a long drive, just because these two true crime stories, In Cold Blood and uh, the BTK story, um, we're both here in Kansas, and she had talked with the authors of In Cold Blood, 
Truman Capote and Al Harper Lee, and she wanted to talk with me. So I, uh, I we had a chat. I signed her book, and uh, in all honesty, I have lost material. I don't. I can't tell your name. Maybe she wouldn't want me to tell your name, and she's probably uh, probably passed away by now. But uh, we had a nice talk. And uh, I realized I knew an awful lot of people. I won't tell you all of them, but I knew an awful lot of people that were involved uh, at some point, uh, including a member of the Clutter family, extended Clutter family, with uh, in cold blood. So I'll, I wrote a letter to Harper Lee, telling her about some of the people I knew in common with her. And she wrote back. In fact, we had uh, quite a correspondence. And no, I'm not sharing that. She was very private. Um, and I just don't think she'd want me to share that. In fact, I had talked with a, a newsman about this. And uh, he said, well, you know, if I'm she's not going to share these things, he's not going to do a story. So, which I think is fine with probably everyone. But uh, these women writers did influence me, young and old. Cross Five Aprils, Hold Zero. I enjoyed Miss Phipps more than Inheritance, but Inheritance is a classic. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird, and I include In Cold Blood as one of Harper Lee's books. She went out and did the interviews. I went out and did 400 interviews for Nightmare in Wichita. And then I have been influenced, continue to be influenced by Gene Weirich's uh, textbook. I would mention the name of my English, college English uh, professor that used that, but I can't remember her name either. And uh, as I've said in my move to Heston, uh, some of my records are either misplaced or gone. So, uh, of course, I mentioned the others, Asimov, John D. MacDonald, Dean Acheson, uh, Vonnegut, and Arthur Conan Doyle. Now, of course, yes, I have read and heard of other, Flannery O'Connor, Jane Austen, Agatha Christie. There's other women I've read. In fact, I, I'm going to read, uh, I haven't read this book yet, or finished reading her this, uh, biography, but I'm going to read, read about uh, Agatha Christie a bit more. So, uh, well, I guess that's it. I just want to tell you, yep, I have not ignored the women. I've read a lot of women writers and uh, admire quite a few of them. Yes, I've heard of J.K. Rowling and others. So I may talk about them at a, in a later video.